afternoon everyone. I thought I'd just take this opportunity. This is not really a fishing video this, it's more a thank you to you guys for supporting me. I've just reached 100 subscribers. I mean in my wildest dreams I didn't really imagine that. Um, but I just want the opportunity to thank everyone for the support. I've been getting non-stop comments thanking me and saying that they like my videos and that it just encourages me to keep going with them like I say I just thought I'd take this opportunity to thank you all while I've got the rod out I was just literally having a couple of hours down here I'm just fishing on a stretch of the Suffolk Stour that I've never ever fished before it's part of the CPS which is a Colchester Angling Club and I'm just running the float through the middle of the river just to see what the crack is See if I can pick up any fish. Um, this is look. There you go, straight away. Look, I was just about to say this is literally my first trot through. It's very deep here. I'm fishing at about probably ten foot of water here. But as I said a minute ago, this is not really about fishing today. It's more about thanking you guys. And I'm hoping that there's going to be a lot more videos coming up. I've got a few plans what I want to do this year, this season. So stay tuned and keep watching the videos. Because I'm hoping one, one of these days I'm going, to, I'm going to get that magic two pound rope for you guys. But it's always the way. When you're on camera it just doesn't happen as as easy. Well, there's a few fish down here. Just small roach. Let's try a big, bigger bit of flake. This is going to be a very, very short video. I've literally only got a couple of hours here. But I can never, I can never resist just putting the float into a river whenever I'm around one. I mean, to be fair, I didn't really expect to catch anything here. It doesn't look like it's been fished at all. I'm sort of off the beaten track here. I was just wandering around, having a little look around. And there's another one. Just found this little spot. Plumbed the depth, got about 10 foot here, like I said. That looks a better fish. Just putting up a bit of a, a bit of a scrap anyway. Yeah, that's a nice little roach again. Just try and lift that one out. <laughs> Great fun. Sometimes it's nice just to get out and on a swim where you just don't know what you're going to get. That's a beautiful little roach, look. Don't look like it's ever been caught, that. Probably hasn't. Let's try a bit of flake again. That was on a bit of flake, that. I do love fishing bread as opposed to maggots. And this river's been in flood for the past phew, two weeks and it's just finally settling down now. It's got that green tinge. What my old mate Charlie calls a roach river. So he was telling me the other day. <laughs> and he's right. The reason I started doing these videos is basically because there's just not a lot of fishing on rivers on TV anymore. It's all, I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I don't mind carp fishing, I've done carp fishing. But there's just nothing on rivers anymore and I used to love watching the old John Wilsons and just fishing rivers and that's what really made me start doing it. I mean, I don't claim to be any expert on river fishing 
I do my best. I've been taught by the best. I mean, most of my roach fishing has been taught by Charlie Kemmett down on the Hampshire Haven. And he, he has taught me absolutely everything. So full credit to Charlie for, for this, but I just, hopefully I can give you guys a few tips on river fishing. I mean, we're all still learning, I'm still learning. There's so much I still don't know. You learn something new every day on the rivers. But we'll keep plugging away. The fish seem to be gobbling this bread up. That roach had a mouthful of it then. It's a nice little stretch this. But I have walked for quite a way from where I've parked my van, just just wandered up the river and I just saw this little spot and I thought, well, nobody's ever fished here. Let's just put the float through and see what the crack is. I've been putting some bread on that far side as well. And Probably cast over there in a minute and see if there's anything over there. It looks a bit chubby over there to me with an overhanging tree there. Let's put a bit of flake on again. Don't seem to be getting on the bread punch as much, which is very strange. Got a four gram Dave Harrell Haven float on. Nice float for holding back. It's gradually slowing down this river. I mean, this was belting through the stour has been lately. I mean, it's with the floods we've been having. Putting a float through the middle of the river like this was just a no-go. You can backwind just to slow the float down as well. It's another thing Charlie taught me how to do. Slows it right down. There's a little touch on the float then. I mean, that's going through just like you put it through with the centre pin. Absolutely spot on that. And you can feel the bite. See, I felt that bite. Feels like a nice roach again. It's thumping its head like a roach anyway. roach. I didn't expect that just from coming out for a couple of hours. It just goes to show you, you can be anywhere and pick up nice roach. I mean that's, that's a pound. Absolutely beautiful condition, look at that. Just from a spot of river I've never fished. And it just goes to show you, doesn't it? Well, hopefully there might be some more down there. <laughs> but I'm gonna put him back. I'm actually gonna go and put him back over there because I don't want him to spook, if there's any other bigger ones down there, I don't want him to spook the shoal. So I'm going to put him upstream a bit. Well, the bits of flakes seem to be working here. I 
Let's see if there's any more bigger ones like that down there. I mean, this is just going right through the middle of the river. I've been putting the bread in. I've been feeding quite a bit. I mean, that was backwinding, that was. They've got that. That's just slowed the float down. And that's basically what caught that fish. I felt that fish, I did. Because when you're backwinding, you can feel the bites. You can literally feel it on, your, on the handle because you're in close contact with the hook all the time. I think I said I've got a four gram Dave Harrell float on. I've got a 14 B560, Camazon B560, then I've got three number eight droppers. That's about 12 inches up, and then I've got a four gram Olivet. So that's my setup. I did say this was only going to be a short video, but <laughs> I can't resist. That's my problem. I'm using a 14 foot rod today because I was planning on fishing the far bank and I need to keep the line up off the water. But as I'm catching the fish down the middle, I think I'll probably just stay here for a while, see if it produces anything. And if it doesn't, then I'll go on to the far bank. Surprised me how deep this is. It's not often you find many sections of the stow this deep. I mean, there are a few about, but I didn't expect it here. I don't know why. Just holding that float back and slowing it right down. That is going a bit through the middle there. I've got my little 506 reel on today, the Abu 506. I took the anti-reverse out of this so as I can backwind with it. So I do like to backwind, slow the float down for roach fishing. So now I can just literally control the float by backwinding like this. Just nice and slowly. You don't want to go too fast. You want to keep that float tight so as you can feel it all the time and that's when you can feel the bites. If you wind too fast you end up getting tangles on your spool. I felt a little bump then. There you go. See, I just felt, I literally felt that. So sometimes when you're backwinding, you don't, you don't have to see the float. You can feel the fish. I mean, I felt that before I even struck it. And there you go. Another nice little roach. Full credit to my old mate Charlie for teaching me that. I remember the first day he taught me that. I was fishing on the Avon down at Britford. And he showed me the technique and I just remember, it was only a day I caught, but I just remember feeling 
where I was back one, I just remember feeling the fish. And I just could not believe it. And I thought, what a brilliant method. He used to do that in his match days all the time. Technique people don't use so much anymore. Yeah, I just felt a little bump then. Just literally a little bump. Something just touched the bread then. I didn't take it, but... Oh, there you go. See, you can feel them. Absolutely incredible. Another nice roach. Well, I might have to make this video on backbinding, I think. Oh, it's a chub this time. Little chublet. Felt like a roach at first. It was thumping its head. It's only a small one, but... Do a good bit of fun. For all you chub anglers. <laughs> well, maybe I should have put my net out. Getting quite a few fish here today. Just holding back hard this time. Literally stopping the float. That's when the roach will have it. And just release a little bit of line. Just let your rod do the work as well. That's the other way of doing it. Just lower your rod as it's going down the river. Look. Then release a little bit of line. Bring your rod up. Same again. Just let your rod slowly go down. So you're just teasing it through the swim. And that's another way of doing it. And again, up with the rod. Getting, get in contact with your float. It's a long trot that. It's going right down to that bush. Sometimes them roach will drop right back. So you've got to bring your float, let your float go all the way down. As long as you can see it and you've got enough line on your reel, just let it go. And that's a long way down the swim now, that's just going past that bush. And there you go. Fish on. See, that's why you always got to go all the way down the swim, because they will drop back. That was a nice one as well. Don't always just stop at the same spot every time. It's a long way to bring that back. Hopefully there's no pike about. Probably could have just lifted that out, but another beautiful roach. Let's get the hook out and get him back in. Live to see another day. Just starting to rain now, which is not good for the camera. Well, this video today hasn't really been about the fishing. It's been more about me thanking you for your support on the channel. I mean, I've only started this channel a few months ago and I've got a few videos on here at the moment, but I'm hoping they're getting better. 
and having a hundred subscribers just encourages me to keep going. I know it doesn't sound a lot, but to me it is. I enjoy fishing, and if I can hand anything down to you guys, and you can pick a few tips up, then hey, happy days. So, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on the next video. Hopefully coming soon.